Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Carlos with Wirefly and what I got for you guys today is a smackdown between the BlackBerry Z30 and the Google Nexus 5. So let's get it on. You guys already know how this works. We divide the smackdown into different categories and well, let's start with the design. I really like the design on both of these phones. They are both surrounded by a soft touch plastic casing and will have a really sturdy feel to them. The Z30 has a carbon fiber look and really nice round edges which make this phone a pretty nice phone to hold in the hand. The Nexus 5 is way thinner compared to the Z30 and also has nice and round edges with some straight edges also that make this phone a really nice phone to hold. On the button layout is where the Z30 has a flaw. It has a power button on top which makes it a hard spot to reach. You either have to maneuver your hand to get to it or just use your other hand. The power button on the Nexus 5 may be towards the top of the phone but it's still on the side which is a good place to have it and it's an easier spot to reach. Next is the display. They both have a 5 inch display but are really different. The Nexus 5 has a full HD 1080p display that is an IPS display with great viewing angles and really nice colors. The Z30 on the other hand has a 720p display that is a super AMOLED and it also has nice colors but they're not as vibrant. When you look at both displays side by side the Nexus 5 screen looks way better with better colors but they're not as exaggerated as you may think. They look nice and natural and it's just a nice experience. I guess the Blackberry screen makes colors look a bit washed out or at least not as bright talking about brightness, the screen on the Nexus 5 gets a bit brighter than the one on the Z30. Camera quality could be a draw. They both take good pictures but are just that, good pictures. They are not great or awesome, they are just decent cameras. The Nexus 5 just has a slight advantage since you can tap to focus and it doesn't just take a picture every time you tap the screen. The Z30 always takes a picture even if it's not focused. It doesn't care where you tapped on the screen, it always just focuses on whatever is centered on the camera. So if you're going to try to do a blur effect or try to focus on something that is far away and it's not centered, you are most likely not going to get it in focus. Battery life. Now, that's where these phones cannot be compared at all. While the Nexus 5 can barely make it through a day on a single charge, the Z30 can easily go two days with a single charge. Now that, my friends, is impressive. These days we are okay with having a phone that can last a day, but we are forgetting that before smartphones, cell phones lasted weeks on a single charge. And for the Z30 to go more than a day, well, that's setting a record. It could be because the Z30 has a 2880 milliamp battery and the Nexus only has a 2300 milliamp battery, but there's phones out there with 3000 milliamp batteries that can also barely make it through a day. It could be because of the processor and the display on the Z30, but wherever it is, like I said, it's impressive. When it comes to speed, these phones come in close. The Nexus has a 2.3 quad-core processor with a Snapdragon 800 chipset, while the BlackBerry only has a 1.2 dual-core processor with a Snapdragon chipset, both with 2GB of RAM. But in all honesty, they are both really fast and can multitask with no problems. Wait. The Z30 is the only one that can actually multitask. On the Z30, you can open up a YouTube video, leave it playing in the background while you go into other apps. After you are done using the app, you can go back and continue watching the video. With the Nexus 5, you can open up a YouTube video, but as soon as you exit the app to go to another one, it stops. Yes, it stays in the same video, probably in the same spot, but once you go back into the application, it's going to load up again and then start playing. It doesn't actually multitask. Just thought I'd mention that since the Nexus 5 has a faster processor but can't actually multitask how it's supposed to be done. The OS on these phones have some similarities but let me tell you, they are totally different. They are both simple, fast and very nice to look at. They have a simple UI and have the same window layout where you can just swipe back and forth with them. And it's also an easy OS to learn how to use. But if you take a closer look, the Z30 has no buttons whatsoever. Everything gets done through swipes. You want to exit an application, just simply swipe up. It will take you to a screen where you have all the applications you have opened, but you can just simply swipe to the right and go back home. 
it's really different from anything I've seen, but it's really unique and I actually like it. Not saying it's better than the Nexus 5 because it still has a classical layout on the bottom. All the notifications on the Z30 are in the BlackBerry Hub all the way to the left. And all the notifications on the Nexus 5 is just a swipe down. I guess that's the classical Android notification tab. They both have the same features on the OS. But one thing that's really important that the BlackBerry is missing is an app store. Yes, with the new update that is coming out, you are going to have access to the Amazon store, which is better than the Blackberries, but it's still very limited. We will see how some apps work with BlackBerry devices since they are not natively made for a BlackBerry device. Also on that update, you are going to get better personal assistant or a voice command, however you want to call it. And well, more little things, but that's a whole nother video. And just some extras I want to throw out there. Memory storage, the Nexus 5 only comes in 16 and 32 gigabytes of storage and it's not upgradable. And the Z30 comes with 16 gigabytes of storage, but you have the ability to expand up to 64 gigabytes through a micro SD card. To some people that may be important, but to others it may not be that important. In conclusion, I think it's all a matter of personal preference. These phones have some features in which they excel and others in where they are not so great. But when it comes down to the OS, I think the Nexus 5 has an advantage. With a stable OS that just keeps improving and where you get update first, I think the Nexus 5 has the advantage. Unless you don't care about the apps and want a better battery life, you want a phone that's for business and don't really want to play games and all that stuff, then the BlackBerry Z30 is for you. Like I said, it's all a matter of personal preference and what suits you best. But anyways, that was it for me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and leave me down in the comments what phone do you guys think it's better, what phone suits you better. I was Cardus with Wirefly and I will see you guys in the next video.